Okay, welcome back to part two, doing our fruit drawing and painting. Hopefully you've finished your drawing right now. So let's take a look at uh, my example. Here I have a finished drawing. All I've done here is my drawing layer. Okay, I have my drawing, I have my paper, I have my background. Actually, I need to put in my painting layer because now what we're going to do is do a painting. New layer. I'm going to call this one painting. If you did the last video correctly, you should already have this layer. I want the painting layer under my drawing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off my drawing layer, like so. I'm going to lower the opacity on my paper, like so, down about 30, so I can see the colors of the fruits underneath my paper. Now I'm going to lock my paper layer again. The opacity is fine. Lock my paper layer again. And now I'm going to go to my painting. Now what I'm going to do is the same thing that I did on the last video. I'm just going to paint, in this case, our uh, red strawberry down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go over here and make sure, again, I have my paintbrush tool. Except now I'm actually going to use some color and uh, paint. So let's grab a better looking brush for painting. I'm still in my dry media brushes and I think I'm going to try a soft oil pastel. And then I want to get this uh, red color here for my strawberry. So uh, I'm actually going to go up here, more of a red. I can actually go down here and grab this color using the eyedropper, like so. Now I'm looking at this, and to me this looks a little bit too pink, so I'm going to make it just a bit more red, like this. Then I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to sample this and see what it looks like. This is really more of a pastel than a paint, but um, we'll survive. It is, however, way too big for this strawberry. So I'm going to make this brush a lot smaller. Now I'm down to a 13. Yeah, that's much more like it. I'm also going to lower my opacity even more. I'm going to go down to about a 30%. That's good. Now I think I'm ready. So I'll go back here, and I'm just going to do the outside edges of this strawberry. And because the color is so accurate, it's kind of hard to see. I'm just going through here and uh, going over this. And honestly, now that I'm doing it, I think I may want to go in and raise the opacity on my um, paper layer because I'm really having a hard time seeing it. So let's go back here, unlock, and let's bring this up quite a bit. I really don't need to see much of the image underneath, and what I really want to see is my painting. That's probably pretty good. I'm going to go back to my painting layer, and I can do some more, and I can see it a little better. There we go. Make some of these areas a little darker, like this. Now what I want to do is I want um, this inside edge here. So I'm going to manual do the color. I want that a little bit more white. I'm just going to go over because it's a little bit lighter, like so. And there's actually a little piece of it here that I see. Not too much. Then there's this almost white section in the middle. So I'm going to do that too. And we can, and you'll notice I'm doing my brush strokes in the same direction as the radial sections of the strawberry. Like so. And now there's those little veins that come out that are really almost white. And I want to make my brush actually even smaller. Go all the way down to like a five. And I can just do these little lines here like this. Um, accents like so. Yeah, that's looking good. That's what we want there. I've got another one here. Now, don't be afraid to use your white 
It helps. We did a little much on the edge here, but we'll, we'll survive. And then there's even a little bit here. Now I want to do the back edge of the strawberry right here, which is again back to more of a much darker red because it's in the shadow. So I'm just going to dab in this with this small section, this small brush I'm using now, like so. Then I want to do the green of the um, leaves as well. So again, I just move my color, but they're pretty dark. Oh, I can go about there. And um, I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger for this particular purpose. I can test it again up here. I can always erase these test marks later. I think I may have made my brush a little big. We'll try it out. We'll probably survive. Like so, not too bad. Yeah, it's probably a little big, but we'll live. I'm gonna go down to about an eight. And I'm gonna make it a little lighter to do some highlights on the green. Like so, make it look a little, a little bit more pointy. Not too bad. So now, what I should have, if I bring my paper layer all the way back up, like so, it's just a nice painting just of the strawberry. Okay. Now what you'll notice now is that actually if I go back now and I turn on the drawing, bam, the drawing outlines the strawberry nicely. And I've got a nice color in the middle. You see what I'm saying? Now, what I'll do is I'll go back. I'm going to lower the opacity on my paper layer again. And I'm going to keep working on painting using my paintbrush and using different colors to paint in all of the fruits, just like I did all of them on the drawing. Just for your information, my final product looks something. Let's see if I can find it for you. Here we go. Here is a final example. Here's an example with all of the fruit painted in and all of the fruits drawn in. I also did the shadow. Note the shadowing down here at the bottom and along some of the fruits and stuff here. And you can see I can turn off my drawing layer and I get a nice painting. I can turn it back on, I can turn off my paint layer, and I get a nice drawing. Okay, this is what you want to aim for here at the end. So, take your time, do a good job, watch the video again if you need to, have fun doing it.